I ain't gonna wait for Coach to get here. I'm gonna try this before he gets here. If there are two things I love in life, it's food and sports. I'm Wes Bryant, a born and bred North Carolina kid, and I'm gonna take you on a journey to some of the best spots in Charlotte to get your grub on with some of the best and brightest athletes and personalities. Back in the day, I had plenty of games, and now I'm here to show you that Wes got range. You are inside of West Guy Range. We're here at the Press Box, one of the newer places in the university area, but quickly making a name for themselves. They got pasta, they got wings, they got burgers, and oh yeah, our special guest today, four-time NBA All-Star, coach of the UNC Charlotte 49ers, Mark Price. So enough with the talking, let's get to it. Back in the kitchen here at the press box with the chef James. James, what we got going on today? What you cooking up for us? We're gonna cook up a uh, pasta primavera with uh, with some garlic bread on the side. That sounds pretty good. Let's get to it. Broccoli, zucchini, squash, onions, and uh, carrots. Put a little dab of garlic in it. The salt taste sort of reduce the, the vegetables so they get a little smoother, a little softer. I use a little heavy cream. Cash rules, baby. Cream. And some white wine. Okay, so this dish is certainly not for the kids then. If you got wine in there. Not at all, not at all. But it reduces off so they won't even taste the wine. Okay. Yeah. I add a little a little parmesan to it, a capellini noodle, which is just regular angel hairs, so a little thin. And you put them in there hard or they already kind of moistened up or? Well, we pre-cooked the noodle. Okay. So we just heat it back up to work. Here we go, we're gonna try the pasta primavera here at the press box. I gotta get it all in on this one right here. Try it all. Mm. As flavorful as it looks, so much going on here. You can taste the fresh vegetables, noodles nice and soft. Primavera, magnifique! As promised, here with Charlotte 49ers head coach Mark Price, four-time NBA All-Star, three-time All-American, three-time All-ACC coach. What weren't you in your basketball career? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not in the Hall of Fame yet. How about that? <laughs> the era you played in, some great point guards. We're talking Isaiah, John Stockton, Magic. Who was your toughest out then. My biggest rival back then, because we were in the same conference and we played like six times every year, was Isaiah and Detroit Pistons. Okay. You know, uh, Zeke. Zeke. You know, we went at it every game. And, uh, you know, he even said, you know, uh, when I came in the league, he said he came in like a mouse and then went out like a lion, you know, kind of deal. We just. You know, he was a great player, obviously, one of the all-time greats, but uh, Lots I of trash talk where you a talker? You know, I wasn't a talker. You know, I got fired up when guys tried to talk to me, but uh, I didn't do a lot. I let my game do my talking. Okay. But, and then uh, out of the guys today, now, I'm sure you still watch a lot of NBA basketball. Mm -hmm. Who do you think today would give Mark Price fits? Boy, I tell you, it's uh, there's so many good players. Uh, I think probably the the guy that's the most physical guard that's maybe most athletic guard that's ever played might be Russell Westbrook, and he's uh, he's just a handful to have he to is defend. A terror you know, he's he's a handful, and then obviously Steph Curry's turned into a monster, and uh, his ability to score the ball. So, and I think that's a little bit of a difference between when I came in the league than the guards now because. It was more of a di distributing position when I first got in the league. Matter of fact, I was one of the first guys, along with Magic and Isaiah, that really looked to score from the point guard position, you know, at that time. And now they all, it, it, might, it might be the biggest scoring position in the league it right is. now. One small step. Never had a muscle in my life. I just dig it out of here like this, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, this, is, this is TV gold right here, man. I always smell stuff before I eat it. Don't drink. It definitely tastes fishy. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be one of your biggest accomplishments. Fixing that jump shot of MK. <laughs> that thing is broken than I am before I get my paycheck. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it might have been one of the worst shots I'd ever seen in my life. And at first, you know, I was like, okay, I know I'm good, but this is going to be a challenge. Yeah. But, uh, you know, fortunately, you know, Mike, he's such a great young man and, and a hard worker. And, you know, 
I just said, are you willing to do what it takes? And he said, yeah, whatever it takes, because I want, you know, he wants to be a good player. He wants to be able to, to be as good as he can be. And we put the work in, and you know, there were times it could have gone either way. You know, anytime you're changing, totally fixing something like that. Gotcha. Uh, but he stuck with it. He trusted trusted me. Uh, you know, we built a great relationship, and uh, I was really happy to see the success and how he turned it around last year. So. Now you're Charlotte 49ers. Why Charlotte? Why right now? Well, it was interesting because I didn't have any relationship with the university. Uh, I knew the school was here, but to be honest, I'd never even been on campus while I was with the Hornets. Uh, got a call from Judy Rose, um, asked me if I was in, would be interested in, in coaching, being their next coach. And uh, I said, well, I'm always, you know, I'm ready to be a head coach. I was, you know, whether it be at the NBA level, college level, I was ready to take that next step. And uh, really came on, just fell in love with the campus there at Charlotte. I mean, Great it's place. unreal. I mean, Great it's place. like 28,000 students. So many no amenities idea. there. The, the arena is beautiful, uh, practice facility, uh, the city of Charlotte. Uh, I just think there's a lot to sell there. I got really excited about the opportunity and uh, took the job. What can you do, or what are you going to start doing to try to get that program back to that level where they do have a buzz around the Queen City? Well, I think, uh, you know, I think. I think we want to have a team that people want to come see play, an exciting brand of basketball. Uh, I think a lot of times the, the, the way the conference alignments have changed, uh, you got different teams coming in now. A lot of people remember the Cincinnati's and the Louisville's coming yeah, in. Yeah, play. yeah. Well, you know, we're not in that conference anymore. I think that hurt a little bit going on. But ultimately, I think it's about our team and, and just bringing some excitement back to the program, uh, getting people. I, I go around the city. I really am. I, I really sense there's a there's a lot of people that are excited about wanting to see Charlotte basketball. That excites me. So uh, we we know we uh, got our work to do. But uh, I've been part of you know like you said Georgia Tech when they were down when I came in and part of building that program, part of help being a part of building the Cleveland Cavaliers into a playoff that challenge. Team. So, that challenge. So I, I love those kind of challenges, and, and I see with. The city, the school, the facilities, I'm just fired. I just know we can knock this thing out of the park. Well, Coach, I appreciate it, taking us through the journey from Oklahoma to the NBA. It has been a pleasure. I wish you guys the best of success this year, the Charlotte 49ers. I'm going to be watching. Coach, anything you want to close out with? No, I just would love to, to have, see people's support coming out. I think they're going to really enjoy uh, the young guys we got that are going to be on the floor this year. We're going to start some, lay a foundation for hopefully – a lot of years of success. And Coach, you got social media. Tell them also where they can find you on social media. Well, uh, believe it or not, I'm on Twitter now. Okay. At Mark25Price. Uh, you know, so check me out. <laughs> Come right. me, follow me. Uh, see what's going on uh, with me and also the Charlotte 49ers. Man, that food was so good. Had to get a to-go box. But special thanks to Mark Price. So gracious to come through and spend some time here on West Scott Range. You can catch us on Facebook, the official page of West Scott Range. Join that. Come over here and eat at the press box before any Charlotte 49ers game. It is literally right across the street from the school. Check us out. We'll see you next time. And as always, eat it up.